Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Honeybee Stamps. In today's video, we are going to focus on creating this beautiful background. This background features a really simple technique that combines hot foil plates and stencils that have matching patterns. We're going to start by hot foiling. I have the Fanciful A2 hot foil plate here. My machine is ready to go, so I just put my plate down, turn the timer on. The timer is now done, so it's now time to create the sandwich. I have some beautiful polished brass foil that we're going to use. I've detached my base. I like to do that before I create my sandwich. Placed my foil shiny side down, then my paper then my uh, shim, and then the top plate. Now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine, my platinum, Spellbinders platinum machine, and here you can see we have this beautiful foiled panel. Now we're gonna do some ink blending over this foil. I'm going to start with spiced marmalade. We're gonna create a really simple ombre kind of background. So quickly ink blend that. Then I'll move on to a pink, which is picked raspberry. I'm using Distress inks today instead of oxides. I've just found that the oxides do kind of cloud up that foil surface a little bit, just making it a little cloudy and not so clear and crisp. Now I'm moving on to my last shade for this ombre background, which is Wilted Violet. Uh, once I finish that, this will all be done. I love this color combo, the orange, pink, and purple. I use it quite a bit. I think it just makes such a pretty warm ombre background. So now that I'm finished with that ink blending, I'm now going to move on to the stencil. This is the Petal Patterns Background Stencil. It's the same pattern as the foil plate. I'm going to line up the patterns, and then I will shift the stencil over to the left a little bit. So I'm basically offsetting this stencil and this is going to allow me to create a really cool kind of shadow that's gonna make this, uh, kind of create this faux dimension. I'm gonna ink blend the orange section of my ombre with a darker orange. I have ripe persimmon. I'm just gonna quickly ink blend all the openings in this stencil with this dark orange color. Now for the pink section, I'm moving on to seedless preserves, kind of my, um, version of a darker picked raspberry and I think it works well. After I ink blend that middle section I'll then move on to Dusty Concord for the uh, wilted violet section or the purple section of my ombre. Just went a little bit darker. You could opt and do like a black or gray ink instead but I do kind of like the tone on tone look. It's not so um so 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 much contrast and making it really harsh and busy but look at how beautiful that background is that that foiled um, pattern really just pops and almost has that dimensional look which is really cool I did trim that panel down to three and a, a three and three-fourths by five inches and now I'm you went ahead and die cut my sentiment out using the big buzzwords honey cuts I die cut the first layer out of some mirrored gold cardstock kind of a more of a satin gold cardstock now I'm just adhering it to the middle shadow layer which is just white cardstock and then I'll finish by adhering my stacked sentiment to the vellum layer with some liquid glue and I did use foam adhesive between the gold and white layers now we're going to move on to some a flower accent I'm using the Lovely Layers Wildflowers Honeycuts. These uh, bluebells have a second layer, which you can see I'm gluing on right now, which is the flowers. Uh, the second layer just adds more detail to the flowers, and there's even a little bud. I glued that down. And then for this flower right here, there's two parts for the center. I'm just going to glue them one um, one inside the other and then down onto the center of the flower. Uh, these are going to stay white. I like the contrast of the white up against that big beautiful bold background. Now we're moving on to the big buzzword stamp set. I pulled off a sub sentiment from this set. I'm going to heat emboss so I did apply some anti-static powder, inked it up in an embossing watermark ink, dipped it into some gold embossing powder, and then heat set with my heat tool. I will now trim that down, which you see here it's already trimmed down to a strip, and now we're ready to kind of put this card together. I'm going to start by adhering two panels, two three and three fourths by five panels, so the same size as the um, blended background panel. Two of them on top, one on top of the other, so stacking them, creating a little bit of dimension for that foiled background panel. I just wanted to pop up a little bit, but not so much dimension as 
a craft foam or foam adhesive so that's why I opted for the paper that if you do use paper to for dimension it's a great time to use um, some scrap paper because no one's going to see it I just glued that to my A2 top holding white card base. Now I'm ready for the flowers. I do want to add a little bit of dimension to the flowers. I want to just pop up the flowers themselves. So I'm going to put a little bit of foam adhesive behind the bud and some of these blue bells. Um, not all of them though. There's one that gets overlapped with my sentiment, the bottom one. So I didn't put any foam adhesive on that one. That's just because I'm going to put my sentiment right on top of it. And I went ahead and used a little liquid adhesive for the stem. And then I also added some foam adhesive behind that larger flower, which I'm just kind of grouping with the bluebells, kind of making like like one whole grouping of flowers. Now I did decide that this other um, bluebell could use some foam adhesive as well. It wasn't being covered by my sentiment, so it was safe to put a little bit of foam adhesive behind that. So I did, I added that. Now all my flowers are attached. I'm ready to move on to my stacked sentiment. I'm going to also um, adhere this with some foam adhesive. So this card has a lot of dimension, um, faux and real. So I just removed the backing on my foam adhesive on the back of the big and stuck that down. And lastly, for my sentiment strip, I am going to double up my foam adhesive here. I have to double it up so it can go over that, that stacked big. And after I stack it up, I then add a little bit of liquid adhesive to the end where it overlaps the G and then just stick that down. And that will actually complete my card. I'll hold it with the camera here so hopefully you get a good look at this really pretty background. I love the shine of that hot foil and then the added um, look of dimension with that little shadow that we, we, we simply ink blended with a darker shade, but it's tone on tone so it's not too busy, but still very noticeable. And then we completed with some beautiful white flowers and a really fun stacked sentiment. Hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.